This is truly the Alberta spirit, braving the cold and the fog, getting here in a, you know, a difficult morning. But boy, I'll tell you, you all make me so incredibly proud. And Mr. Premier, on that subject, we, we've seen, especially in the rest of Canada, now we're just moving back into Alberta after a little stint when we were up north earlier on during the relay. Really, this has galvanized all Albertans. It has really rallied everybody behind the spirit of the flame, the spirit of the Olympic Games. I'm sure you followed us throughout this route. What has been your favorite moment, sir? Well, we certainly welcome the flame back uh, to Alberta. Uh, most memorable moments, uh, obviously, of the Olympics, uh, being a tremendous hockey fan. But, uh, you know, we're, we're blessed uh, in Alberta because we have two uh, teams going uh, to the curling, uh, Olympic Curling Championship. We have uh, so many Alberta-born and raised athletes. Uh, we have some of the best uh, facilities for training in the world, of course. Uh, as a legacy from the last Olympics in 1988. We're going to have hundreds of volunteers uh, helping uh, uh, Vancouver uh, you know, move smoothly through the Olympics. And also we're going to have uh, uh, so many people traveling uh, to Alberta. It's an opportunity to showcase Alberta and uh, it's a fantastic opportunity. And uh, as Leon said, we're going to see a number of gold medals come back and I know our province is going to do extremely well in the Canadian Olympics. And, to all of you, once again, thank you, thank you so much for uh, helping us celebrate uh, the torch relay here in, in Vegreville and all the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, just uh, seeing the great crowds here in Fort Saskatchewan and in Vegreville uh, this, this morning, I know that uh, Albertans are ready to do their part for the uh, Olympics. It is uh, an incredible display of sport, obviously, the, the Olympics. And as a whole country, we have an opportunity uh, to shine uh, for the rest of the world. All of the world, eyes of the world will be on Vancouver, on Canada. I'm so pleased that the Premier of uh, British Columbia, Gordon Campbell, has termed this the Canada's Olympics. We're all involved coast to coast to coast. Alberta will be in Vancouver. We're going to be in Vancouver with many of our athletes that are Alberta born, Alberta trained, and are going to do some incredible work on behalf of Alberta in terms of going for the gold. Uh, so privileged to have uh, two of the, the curling teams, Alberta good uh, representation our hockey teams and just in so many different uh, areas. We're going to be there as hundreds of volunteers assisting the city of Vancouver and the province of 
British Columbia and, and, and helping them with all of the festivities. Our artists from uh, Alberta will be sharing our culture and the culture of Canada and once again viewed by so many people around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the Olympics. The Olympics are a great way to unite this country, to bring us all together and all I'm going to say is to all of the, the boys and girls, the students that have joined us, thank you for, for uh, joining all of us here uh, today. It uh, makes me very proud to see so many out uh, this morning and this afternoon as the Premier of the Province of Alberta because you're all going to be on TV tonight, so watch the news, and you're going to be representing Alberta, Alberta in grand style. Go Canada, go! Inside the torch is a holder of fuel for the torch. It is lit while they run, but once the run is over, the fuel is taken out of the torch as it can never be relit. It will only be relit this one time. Here it comes. The torch was designed. The next time we see the flame, it'll be in Vancouver. Olympic Stadium. There she goes. 